GCSE required practical 3A, this is investigating resistance as it changes with the length of the piece of wire. So the first thing that you need to do is to set up the circuit as shown in your lab book. And here we have the length of wire, which is fixed to a ruler, so that we can measure its length. And we have a potential difference applied by the power supply here of 6 volts, and that's applied across the wire itself and in series with an ammeter so that we can measure the current that's flowing through it. Then in parallel with the wire we have a voltmeter which is connected on one side to the zero volt connection and on the other side to a flying lead which has got a crocodile clip on the end of it and we can attach that to various lengths of wire um, according to the investigation. So what I'm going to do is start with just 10 centimetres of length of wire probed so, we're going to add the crocodile clip on here, and from that I'm going to take a reading of the potential difference from the voltmeter, which we have 0.55, and we're going to measure the current from the ammeter, and that's 0.33 amps. And then I'm going to carry on increasing the distance by 10 centimetres at each time. Measure the potential difference, measure the current, and that will then build me up all of the results until I get to a metre. At one metre, I will take off the crocodile clip and insert the connector straight into the top of here so we get the full one metre length. And here are the results for the different lengths from 10 centimetres all the way through to 1 metre and you can see that the potential difference is increasing but the current is remaining constant and that's fine, that's exactly what should happen because within the circuit you're not actually changing the resistance uh, because the piece of wire is fixed within it we're just measuring the potential difference as it's dropped across different sections of that piece of wire the next task is to calculate the resistance because that is what we'll be plotting against the length of wire. OK, now we're going to calculate a couple of resistances just to show you how it's done. The resistance is calculated by taking the potential difference and dividing it by the current. So the first, li first line shows 0.55 divided by 0.33 giving us a resistance value of 1.67 ohms. So we'll put that in there. And then the second line is 1.16 volts divided by 0.33 amps to give us a resistance of 3.52 ohms, and so on. And here's the final results table with all the resistances calculated. And you can see that the resistance changes from 1.67 ohms, 10 centimetres, all the way up to 18.06 ohms, the 100 centimetres. The task then is to plot a graph which shows how the resistance changes with length, with the resistance as the dependent variable at the side and with the length as the independent variable along the bottom.